Your Honor, this is the McPoyle family crest. On it, you will find a bird, a Pocono swallow, to be more accurate. A very rare, very elusive bird. You'll notice its trademark unibrow, highly uncommon in most aviary circles. And my research shows that unlike your typical North American barn swallow, the, the Pocono swallow, if kept under the proper conditions, can live as long as 80 to even 85 years, much like a parrot or some of the more resilient coastal gulls. <laughs> your Honor, where is this going? I don't know, but it better lead somewhere fast. Your Honor, I can assure you that this will be our final argument. Well, if it's going to help end all of this madness, I'll allow it. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, there was another member of the McPoyle family clan at the wedding the night of the incident. A member that none of us have met, certainly not anyone on this side of the aisle. A one Mr. Royal McPoyle. A bird. The McPoyle family's pet Pocono swallow. And my research shows that this particular Pocono swallow has a history of violence. Look into the gallery and you will see Royal's victims. It took Margaret's vocal cords in 1999, leaving her mute. Keith McPoyle lost his eyes and his ears to it in 76. And we all know that according to bird law, it's three strikes and you're out. Bye, bye, birdie. Ready, boys and girls, because here's where it gets good. Ryan McPoyle didn't attack Liam, Royal did. And Lion was lying about Ryan attacking Liam to protect Royal from the chair, or lethal injection, or perhaps some sort of small bird guillotine. I wouldn't understand the physics of it. I'm not an executioner. I'm just the best goddamn bird lawyer in the world. So bottom line, and listen up, dumb nuts, because it blows a hole in your case. Birds don't drink milk. Objection, Your Honor. There's no Royal McPoyle. Perhaps, or perhaps not. Your Honor, I call Pappy McPoyle to the stand. Pappy McPoyle, patriarch of the McPoyle family. Royal was your pet bird. You've had him since you were a boy. And isn't it true that you never go anywhere without him? <laughs> yeah, I have been. Raccoons and oysters dancing in the head of a pin with the angels. <laughs> they are laughing. All right, uh, Your Honor, clearly this witness is mentally unwell and cannot answer any of the questions properly. Uh, uh, perhaps, I mean, Your Honor, uh, uh, or perhaps it's just a cover. But it's quite all right. I don't have any further questions. Oh, except one more. Didn't the bailiff ask everyone to remove their hats? That is true. Mr. McPoyle. Would you please remove your hat? Mm -hmm. Mr. McPoyle, please remove your hat. Perhaps he is too insane to understand the question. Why don't I just... Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Royal McPoyle. Chick-a-dee-dee-dee, -dee, little birdie, let's dance. Your Honor, this is Mr. Belkemeyer. He's a professor of ornithology at the University of Penn. Mr. Mayer, it's safe to say you're a bit of an expert on birds, yes? I believe you're correct. And you would understand this Pocono swallow quite well, wouldn't you? Yes, I do. Then please ask it if it attacked Liam! Ask if... what? Mr. Mayer, I would like you to please talk to the bird and say, Did you attack Liam McPoyle? I can't converse with, with a bird. <laughs> well, I thought you were uh, uh, an expert on birds. Uh, I am an expert on birds. Well, I need okay. you to okay. communicate with the bird. This but is very important. And I need to... <laughs> Well, this is a bit embarrassing, Your Honor. Perhaps this man has lied about his credentials. Uh, fortunately, I am familiar with a little bit of pigeon. Perhaps I can get through to it in some way. Okay, Your Honor, this is nonsense.